Hello, I'm Verma Viegas, and I'm a stormwater inspector here at the City of Albuquerque with the Storm Drainage Design Division at DMD. Today, we are here to talk about our precious Rio Grande. I say precious because water is precious. And by the end of this demonstration, you will be able to see just how precious our Rio Grande really is. First, let's look at the Earth. When we look at the planet, what do we see? Water. About 75% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. So if three quarters of the Earth is water, why are we so concerned about it? Why is it so scarce? Why are there so many restrictions? Let me tell you. There's approximately seven and a half billion people on this planet who all have to use this water. And today we're gonna find out how much of this water is actually usable to us. And not just to us, but to the plants and the animals that also live on this planet. Allow me to explain. You probably learned this back in grade school about the water cycle. Water has been cycling over and over. The earth cycles that water for millions and millions and millions of years. So the same water that we use today is the same water that was on this planet millions and millions of years ago. Meaning that water is actually renewable, however, it is scarce. And why is it scarce? That's what we're gonna learn today. First off, scientists today, with all their vast knowledge and scientific advancements, have not been able to make water. They cannot get one hydrogen molecule and two oxygen molecules and mash them together to create water. It just has not happened yet. So, like we said, the water that's on this planet today is all the water we are ever going to get. What I'm gonna do next is we're gonna model. We're actually gonna see how much of the Earth's water is usable to the entire planet. So to model, we're gonna pretend that I pour all the water in the Earth, all the water in the world, I just poured into this thousand milliliter graduated cylinder. So we're gonna put the Earth to the side. Now we have all the water in the world right here in this graduated cylinder. There's two types of water, salt and fresh water. So let's look at salt water for a little bit. Can we drink salt water? No. Can we give it to our plants, our animals? No. The salt in the water actually dehydrates us. So if we continue to drink salt water, we'll continue to dehydrate ourselves and eventually die of dehydration. So salt water is unusable for us. Now there's a process called desalinization where they actually can take the salt out of the water. But that process is so energy intensive and expensive that it's not worth it at this point in time to do that. And besides, if we start utilizing all the waters in the ocean, what will happen to our aquatic, aquatic life? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour all the fresh water in the world into this graduated cylinder right here. Fresh water compromises about 30%, I'm sorry, 3% or the equivalent of 30 mLs. So now I have all the salt water in the world and all the fresh water in the world. It's not too bad. We can probably share this with the world, don't you think? But wait, let's look at this fresh water a little bit closer. There's four types of fresh water, rivers, lakes, groundwater, or what is known as aquifers, and our glaciers and ice caps. So let's look at our ice caps for a little bit. Can we run up to the mountains every day with our little bucket, pour some snow in our bucket, run back down, melt that, and use that for our water every single day? No, it's not feasible. So glaciers and ice caps are unusable for us. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pour all the liquid fresh water into this graduated cylinder right here. Now out of all the fresh water in the world, the liquid fresh water compromises about 
20% or 6 mLs. So just to backtrack, all the salt water in the world, all the frozen fresh water in the world, and now here is all our fresh liquid water in the world. Now this doesn't look too bad. We can probably share this with the world. But wait, some of the rivers and the lakes in the world are so polluted and so contaminated, we can't clean them to drinking water standards, so therefore they are unusable. Some of the aquifers in the world are so deep, we cannot get to them, or like our aquifer are brackish or salty, and therefore we cannot desalinate them, and therefore they are unusable too. So there's a percentage, percentage of this 6 ml that is actually usable to the entire planet. Now, if you've guessed 10%, it's a good number, too high. If you guessed 5%, still a good number, still too high. If you guessed 1%, very good number, still too high. The actual percentage of usable water that is valuable to the entire planet, that's, again, remember, approximately seven and a half billion people plus plant and animal life, is actually 0 0.003, or the equivalent of one drop. Let's think about that for a minute. One drop of water to share with the entire world. One drop that is usable for all seven and a half billion people plus plant and animal life to utilize. One drop. Now can you start to see why water is so precious and why it's so scarce and why our Rio Grande is precious? Our Rio Grande is our one drop of water. Our Rio Grande is our responsibility to protect. Our Rio Grande is what we utilize for our drinking water. So I would like to challenge you to protect this drop of water. I would like to challenge you to remember that anything that's on the land, whether it's trash, dog poop, chemicals, oil, herbicides, pesticides, anything that's on that land is going to get washed into the storm drainage system and go straight into the river. Unfortunately, stormwater is a separate system from the sewer system, so it doesn't get to pass go and collect $200. It doesn't get to go to the wastewater treatment facility and get treated. Stormwater goes directly to the Rio Grande, carrying everything on the land with it. So remember, that one drop, protect it. Go home today and challenge yourself to make sure to pick up your trash and pick up your dog poop. Make sure if you see someone spilling oil down a storm drain, call the city and let us know. Challenge yourself. Remember, one drop is all we have for the entire world. I'd like to thank you for your time today and your attention. And just remember, we work as a community to keep our Rio Grande grand.